So hello and welcome to another class of ABM Eva Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be talking about biotech career. So everybody who is studying biotechnology or related subjects like microbiology, biochemistry, food technology, or any kind of subjects which are very useful in the case of industry, uh, this class is for them only. So to reach on the top of the biotech career, you should have several stoppages, and through that stoppages we have to walk. Slowly and steadily through and get the top position. So today I'll be guiding you through these positions, but you have to really, really work hard to get these positions. So let's start. So first of all, in biotech career, the hierarchy is like a road map which stimulates you and gives a track to your career. Now. One must never work in an organization with a lone goal of attaining a top level position. Means you should not be always thinking about get the top level of the position, but you have to love the work, and you should uh, give promising results to the organizations and to yourself to prove yourself that you are the eligible person for the top position or the stoppages which are going, uh, which you will be going through. You should focus on overall individual growth because through your individual growth. step by step you are going to prove yourself and that is very very necessary when you are going for industry level job now biotech mnc or research institutes has its own structured sequence for job positions i have compiled them and made a most successful way to focus on so first of all junior research assistant the name of the position is junior research assistant it is the entry level position in a biotech industry so biotech companies prefer uh, hiring freshers for this post who are well versed in hands on lab techniques uh, techniques and have some amount of experience in the form of an internship during studies because they require some kind of experience that they should have the minimal knowledge about the lab to work upon in industry and the educational requirements which will be which you will be requiring are msc in biotechnology biochemistry microbiology chemistry food technology or any related to the industry that is life science subjects now the average salary which you will be getting in this position is uh, starting from 22000 to 30000 per month the job duration so at most you have to be in this position for up to 2 years then only you can switch on to another position or you can work upon for higher positions or you can stay in that position for long periods to get some more experience now the next top edge for you is the senior research assistant now a junior research assistant or a post graduate can be promoted to this level after a considerable amount of experience in the required field that's why i said you should have minimum of two or three experience years of experience in the field of junior research assistant then only you can go for this senior research assistant so the eligibility is almost same apart from the experience you will be requiring must for this position now freshers with phd degree in biotechnology can also apply directly into this position because they have the phd degree and they they have the limited amount of or the required amount of laboratory or good laboratory exposures now the average salary for this position will be 30000 per month to 40000 per month so for this position or you have to be in this position up to 3 years then only you can go proceed for further positions and this experience we are gaining in these positions for junior or senior whatever you say is very very essential when you are walking through the path now the next position is assistant research associate so performing various complex tests and experiments is the primary function of a assistant research associate so responsible for overseeing different operations within the laboratory so you will be uh, responsible for different functions and overseeing the supervising the things and to see whether the quality is maintained like that so for this position you will be requiring msc degree in the same like biochemistry biotechnology microbiology life sciences apart from that 2 to 3 years of prior experiences that is in the position of senior research associate and if you have phd then you can get only 2 years of experience and directly you will be available to this position in the biotech industry now the average salary for this position will be 35000 per month to 55000 per month 
and in this position you should be stayed up to three to four years to gain uh, required amount of experience or required amount of uh, handling of work for the next level. So the next level is associate scientist. Here your primary function will be to maintain a close coordination with the junior level research associates means the lower portions of the staff so you will be handling to work with the principal investigator with additional obligation to develop protocols complete in-depth research and direct people uh, within the team. So you will be just uh, the just below the principal scientist or the next level scientist or you will be one of the way or one of the branch of the principal scientist which you will be working through in coordination with the lower uh, junior level research associates as well as the higher level investigators. So for this position you will be requiring uh, same as the above or the other uh, degrees but you need to have at least two to five years of prior experiences to get this position directly. And if you have PhD in this uh, subject, then you can have to have a three years of experience as a previous one or uh, research assistant or senior research assistant and the prior level or the uh, just preceding level from what I have said. So candidates who have a postdoctoral degree can gain a direct entry because they have more and sophisticated experience in this field and the biotech industry can be totally rely upon them so they can be directly recruited as associate scientist in a company. Now average salary for this position will be 45,000 per month which can be increased up to 70,000 per month depending upon the experience you have and the efficiency uh, you can uh, give them or you can prove yourself to the industry. So that may vary. Now in this position you have to have 4 years of experience and uh, for that you have to work hard and after four years you will be proceeding to the next level which is a research scientist position trust me guys in this after reaching into this position you will not be able to look back and your career will be going very fast forward more manner now in this position your uh, role will be formulating planning and conducting experiments uh, directly into the lab so preparing research proposals, funding applications, supervising the junior staff. So this is a quite a um, bit a very crucial position in an industry. So that's why the crucial jobs are very very important for the industry to get the fund. Without the fund, there will be no research. That's why you have to have proper exposure to research writing, research proposals, and funding applications. Now here you have to have at least 6 years of prior experience if you have MSc and if you have PhD then at least 4 years of experience and postdoctoral degree also getting the extra advantages with 3 years of experience so you can directly apply for research scientist position. Now in this position you will be getting 60,000 per month to 1 lakh per month of the salary if you have the required amount of experience and the capability in you. So you have to stay in this position for 4 to 6 years and to move forward into the next position. Now the next position is very very crucial that is lead scientist. So it can manage large and multi-technical R&D projects. So it's a versatile work of a lead scientist. To meet desired R&D projects objectives is also a key role because you will be responsible for obtaining the objectives in proper time within the deadline. And the guidance to enter R&D house operation runs smoothly. So you can see that this is the uh, very very prime stoppages will be held in your uh, career path where you will be given very very important uh, aspects in industry and industry is going to rely upon you. So that's why you have to be very very capable for this position. So here you have to have at least 4 to 7 years of prior experiences that is for prior positions. Now if you have PhD then you can get up to 6 years of uh, prior experience in that uh, subjects like biotechnology, biochemistry, micro. Now the subjects may differ depending upon the industry where you are applying. So uh, that may differ. That's why I brought in, uh, I've written life sciences. So life sciences uh, 
encompasses all the subjects depending upon the particular industry where the particular subject is required. Like if you are working with enzymes, then they will be preferring uh, MSc or PhD with biochemistry. So if you are working in a bacteriological industry or bacteriological products, then they will be requiring maybe they are preferring the microbiology students. Likewise, it may differ so if you have postdoctoral degree from a good institute if you may have a five years of experience then they will directly recruit you as a lead scientist now the average salary for this position is started from one lakh and can reach up to one lakh seventy thousand per month as i have said earlier that is depending upon the capability you have and the efficiency you can show to the company now in this job duration uh, in this position you have to have a uh, seven years five to seven years of experience and we will be reaching the principal scientist position here your action is to coordinate all the teams so your function will be divided into different teams and you have to control all the teams working on different aspects in a particular industry so you have to work upon parallelly and you have to guide them parallelly to all the teams now to train new generation researchers to compile performance reviews to act as a source of knowledge in the laboratory quick decision making analytical thinking community commitment uh, is what defines the principal scientist so every you can see the requirements for this position is very very specific and very much capable candidate you have to have so in case of Educational requirements, you have to have 6 to 9 years of prior experiences in this field, depending upon the industry. And if you have PhD, then at least 4 to 8 years of experience you need. And if you have postdoctoral degree, then at least 3 to 6 years of experiences is very, very necessary for this position. So here your starting salary will be 2 lakh 20,000, which can reach up to 5 lakh per month, depending upon the capable positions or the capability you can show. So here you have to stay 5 to 10 years. So then you can go for the final position in a that is a top level position in industry that is chief scientist. So chief scientist is the highest level of position present in a biotech industry who is handling all the stops or all the stoppages you have gone by through this or as far as I have said you. So this will be controlled by the chief scientist and he is solely responsible, he or she is solely responsible for policy and decision making board of the company. Now develop a budget, manage different departments within the company, exercising supervision control over various research departments implementing rules regulations for the clinical and commercial production activities educational requirements are same but the experience is much much higher from uh, the basal level position to the top level position that is 10 to 15 years of experience you require for as chief scientist or if you have a phd then you will be required at least 8 to 10 years of experiences and if you have postdoctoral degree then at least four to eight years of experience is very very necessary for being as a chief scientist and your salary is very very lucrative here and it will be starting with six lakhs and can go up to 10 lakhs per month so this position where you can stay from six to ten years and you can switch on to different companies or you may have to or you may can stay in that same company and you will be very very much benefited with this position as the top level position uh, in a company so company will listen to you and you are the decision maker you are the policy maker and you will be running the all the r d's in a company so chief scientist position is the sole and primary and the most crucial position that is the top level position in a biotech company so you guys who are studying these subjects do harder study harder and try to get the position slowly and steadily don't rush upon that but maintain your quality and try to read try to gain the knowledge and have to have a laboratory proper laboratory and quality laboratory experience so that the biotech company will be choosing you other than the uh, poor candidates which are here in this field